Welcome to question 6, CSEC Math Exam January 2012 Video Solution. And the question gave us this function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. That's a quadratic function. And it gave us values in this table from x equals negative 2 up to x equals 4. Those are the integer x values. And we are asked in part A to complete the table, copy and complete the table. Complete the table, we basically need to put in the value for here, for this cell, and the value for here. Now in this cell, the x value is negative 1. So we need to substitute that negative 1 in this function equation. And, and that will give us the y value for here. And then, at this cell, x is 2. So when we substitute 2 in this function equation, that will give us the y value for x equal 2. So let's go ahead and show all that calculation. Now, we are copying and completing the table. And, and as I said, at x equals negative 1 for this cell, we substitute the negative 1 in this function equation. So it becomes negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. So that reduces to negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, positive 2. And then this negative 3 comes back here. And we see that this works out to 0. 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 3 is 0. So that's the value of y for this cell, 0. And we can go ahead and show that value. And then for this cell, x is 2. So at x equals 2, we substitute the x value of 2 in the function equation here. So that's 2 squared, as shown here, minus 2 times 2, and then minus this 3. That's right here. And when we do that calculation, we end up with 4. 2 squared is 4, minus 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus 3. So 4 minus 4 is 0, and then minus 3. So 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So at that point here, at this cell, y should be negative 3. So we can place that. So that's our table completed. And that's the answer for part 1. Alright, now let's look at part 2. Part B. Part B says we are to use a scale of 2 centimeters to one unit on the x-axis that's two centimeters to one unit on the x-axis and one centimeter to one unit on the y-axis to plot the graph this is a table that we carried forward all right so what we want to basically do is plot these points on our graph right so based on the instruction those would be the points negative two five that's one point negative one zero zero negative three 1, negative 4, 2, negative 3, 3, 0, and 4, 5. So these are the points we're going to plot. And based on the scale that is required, this is our grid. 2 centimeters is 1 unit. Let's say each of these grid lines represents 1 centimeter. Right? So 2 centimeters is 1 unit on the x-axis. And one centimeter is one unit on the y-axis. All right, so that's the instruction. Two centimeters to one unit on the x-axis, one centimeter to one unit on the y-axis. And we are now basically going to just plot all these points. And if we put those points in, that's what we have. Negative two five for this one. Negative one zero for this one. 0, negative 3, that's for this one. 1, negative 4, that's for this. 2, negative 3, for this point. 3, 0, for this one. And 4, 5, for this one. So those are all the points. And all we need to do now is draw a smooth curve to those points. So that's a graph representing this function, right? And that's a quadratic graph. That's a parabola. And that's a minimum turning point right here, right? So that's a parabola for this graph, a quadratic graph. And it's a minimum smile-shaped parabolic 
quadratic graph. All right? And then now we are asked in part C of the question to find the y value, estimate from the graph the y value when x is 3.5. We have to do it from the graph, not by calculation. And we have to show on the graph how we carried out that estimation. We are not supposed to calculate it from the function. We are supposed to do it from the graph. So where on the graph is x equal to 3.5? That's right here. That's where x is 3.5. All right. So we can mark 3.5 and then we have to go up on the graph. So that's where x is 3.5 on the graph and then come across to find what the corresponding y value is. And that's the y value right? that corresponds to an x value of 3.5. So let's show on the graph how we would construct that y value. So that's it. We would go up on the graph and then go across to the y-axis to see the y-value and there we can see the y-value is approximately or is 2.25 and that's what we would read from our graph 2.25 so when x, when x is 3.5 on the graph at this point is where x is 3.5 the y-value is 2.25 so that's on the graph x is 3.5 at this point on the graph and the y value at that point is 2.25 as read from the graph and that's the answer for that part y is 2.25 now part d is asking us to use the graph again no calculation required asking us to use the graph to write down firstly the equation of the axis of symmetry what is the axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry is a line of symmetry of the parabolic quadratic graph. This parabolic quadratic graph is symmetrical about a vertical line that passes through the vertex of the quadratic graph or the minimum point or the turning point. So the vertical line through this point here is the axis of symmetry. And that vertical line crosses the x-axis at 1. So therefore, the axis of symmetry is the line which has an equation of x equal 1. It is the x value at the turning point on the graph. And we can show that axis of symmetry on the graph. That's it right here. That green line is the axis of symmetry. And the equation of this line, this vertical line, which passes through 1 on the x-axis, is x equals 1 because x is equal to 1 at all points on this vertical line. So that's the answer. Our axis of symmetry is x equals 1. Next, we're asked to estimate the minimum value of the function. Right? We want to know the minimum value of y. Now, the minimum value of y is the lowest y value on the graph. And that lowest y value on the graph is the y value at the vertex of the parabolic graph or at the turning point. The y value at this point right here is the minimum y value, the lowest y value on the graph. The graph comes down here to negative 4, that's the lowest y value, negative 4, and then it goes back up. So this negative 4 here is the lowest y value on the graph. That's the y value at the minimum point on this smile shaped parabolic graph, right? And so the lowest or the minimum y value is negative 4 right at this point, right? And so that's the answer. y min is negative 4. That's the answer for part 2 of section D. And then part 3 of section D is asking us to state the values for the solution of this equation. Now, this is the quadratic equation associated with this quadratic function. And the solution of the quadratic equation gives us the roots of the quadratic equation. These are x values where the quadratic graph intersects the x-axis because this really is the same as saying y is equal to zero because x squared minus 2x minus 3 actually is y so this equation is basically asking us where is y equal to zero and y is equal to zero on the x-axis all points on x-axis y is equal to zero in fact 
the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. Alright? So, on the graph, y is equal to 0 at this point and also at this point. And in fact, in the table, we could see that y is 0 when x is negative 1 and also y is 0 when x is 3. And we can see that on the graph. x is 3 when y is 0 here and x is negative 1 when y is 0 here. So therefore, these two points are the points representing the solution for this quadratic equation. Right? So we can highlight those two points and at those two points, the x values that would therefore satisfy this quadratic equation would be x equals negative 1 for this point and x equals 3 for this point. So those are the x values that would represent the solution for this quadratic equation. Right? And that's the answer for question 6. Right? And we look to do question 7 in our next video. Alright, so see you then.